Okay, here we go. This is uh, Michigan Gladwin. So we're looking him. Okay, let me see how your reports look. Oh, good. I don't see uh, Travis uh, Wisconsin inspector in there. Good, good. Okay, a little house there. Good. <clears throat> yeah, just here. I mean, you can put that extra comment in there if you want, but you know, I don't think it's necessarily needed. A little bit of extra typing to soften the facial with not securing so areas around the house. Just, you know, just point it out and let them deal with it. The facial is not secured behind the drip edge at the bottom of the side gable. Okay, again, let them deal with it. There was some moisture damage at the wood connected that porch to the fascia. There was some moisture damage at the wood connecting the porch roof to the fascia. Yeah, well, let me blow this up and see what we got here. Where's that? Where's that picture at? Look, okay, I don't see the picture, man. Man, oh man, it's okay. Here's that photo. I found it. Okay, yeah, it looked like there's a. I don't see no moisture damage. I see a little bit of staining, maybe a little bit of deterioration. Uh, yeah, a little deterioration on the end here. Let me see how you said that. Some moisture damage, some deterioration. Moisture, moisture damage. Okay, it doesn't seem to be too serious. We won't put an R on it. Okay, good. 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 Got a capital T and a capital H. Let me just correct that. Good. Again, we just let them deal with it. There was holes in the seawall of the lake that are long so to spill out into the lake. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's gonna happen. Correcting the grade will help move water away from the house. I like that one a little bit better than saying repair. Repair are needed. I like this comment. See how that sounds so much better than what you had there. So correcting the grade will help to move water away from the house. I think you had uh, repairs are needed. Okay, so it's just, yeah, you know, just a little bit of the wording here. Yeah. I'll put an R on that roof. Roof scare me. Yeah. Let me just see, what are you using on your comment? Okay. Okay, what do we got going here? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the video was uh, leaking water when running. The plumbing should correct. Yep, good. I'm putting R. The plumbing was dripping when the water is off. R, yep. Good. The plumbing leaking when running. So, what is it? Is it running? It's both. So, the kitchen leaking was running when the water was running and when it was off and dripping. when it is off okay so we, I mean might as well just put them together okay Put an R, I, I put an R on this one with the toilet flushed. So we get that. Oh, this is the one with the squirrel. And further evaluation of the water heater. Good. 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 
uh, okay, on this condo, there was exposed wires at the post lake side of the house that could be concealed in cut. I like saying that was not concealed in cut. Well, you could, you could means like, you know, you, you could conceal it, you know, like you should. Good. We just want to tell them that it's not. Any more direct. Not concealed in conduit. Okay, there was no power. I don't know you, um, okay, let's put an uh, investigate. When there's no power, I usually like to hit this further investigation here. Yep, good comment. So, this is per Nazi standard. There's a number of other switches, lights were tested, and finally been working on Good. 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 Okay. Let's put an R on it. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Um. Yeah. You know, I mean, you really don't need this either. On that, you can just hit. Just trying to limit some of your. I mean, if you want to put it in there, that's fine. I, I could care less, but. Just trying to save you some tips here. There was electrical box and that that was not secured. You know, um, you don't have it in the eye. Right, let me just see. Do it. it was not secured. Let me see what that looks like here. Where's the attic? Where's the attic pictures? Here it is. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot wrong with that. At least it's got Romex connectors. It's got, you know what I mean? It, I mean, it's, I mean, if there was, I mean, they did a nice job. They got Romex connectors and all that stuff there. It looks like there's a nail there. Yep. Yeah. So we, I don't think we need to put it in the repair, but we, this comment is good. Yep. Um, we can just leave it at that. Okay. This here, I've been um, doing away with that. Uh, the new 2017 NEC, uh, the National Electrical Code says that uh, six foot rule doesn't apply anymore. That it's every outlet in the bathroom, every outlet in the kitchen should be GFCI. But anyways, so right, so good, good comment here. Okay, good. 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 I could not inspect. I could not inspect. Okay, let me see. What did you check the furnace? The furnace no, 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 no. Okay, then what? What's what's this? I could not determine the use for the thermostat on the living in the living. Thermos that may operate the gas log, which was not operational at the time of the inspection. Okay, I see. All right. <clears throat> was there a wire going to the gas log? Sometimes you can see a little thermostat wire, then you, you can kind of rule it out, but not a big deal. All right, and then. Um, Okay, we'll put that in under uh, investigate air conditioning. Okay, let's see, let's back this up here. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Yep, good. Oh, good. You switched over to the um, air, air return. Very good. And then the air supply. Great. 
Thank you, Matt. You got a job. All right, let me get this call. I think I got to get out of here, man. All right. Where are we at here? All right, we, we were in Gladwin, right? There we were. Where were we? Okay. Air conditioning, we did that. That was good. Okay, replace foam, foam sleeve as needed. Yep. Good. 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 You're looking good, man. Still like to see a picture of the water bottle there. Ooh. Okay. Um, is it pump? Okay, well, I mean, I'm, the rust on a sub pump is not uncommon. I mean, on a jet pump, especially in a crawl space. Uh, where is it? Let me find it here. Yeah. Um, probably looks like it could be a leak in the seal leak, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, they might want to. All right, let me just. Let me just rewrite that. Excessive. Oh, yeah, X. Where's my X? Yeah, from the leaking seal. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to put uh, this to uh, investigate. Yep, yep. I don't want to replace that pump. Do you? No, no. It's working good, but it's got rust. Yep. Yep, and I have to figure that one out. Placed, placed on the tank. The lid was placed on it, but it recommended we put it. Is it tapered? 
Let me see if it's tapered. Yeah, it's tapered. It should probably hold it. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Looks like some deterioration on that tank. On the cover right here. It looks like a little bit deteriorated right there. Are you getting a good look at these tanks, Matt? Just want to make sure. It looks really, really thin right here. Which is, you know, I mean, it happens. So. So that's a wrap there. So let's um, go ahead and let me just review this real quick. Good. Nice. Make sure all the pictures are the right size. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, good. Sweet. Let's see what's in the somebody here. Okay, no problem. Oh, okay, I'm back. okay, I'm back with you here. I had a, okay, so we're going to turn this into a PDF. The report looks good, so I'm going to show you how to do that again. I'm getting ahead of myself. Go to print, full report for upload. Make sure this is checked. Edit, other. And then Adobe PDF. Looks great. All right, so let me go over here. We're going to eighteen six seventy five. 18675. Mm -hmm. Let me pull it over here so you can see it. Oh, you got it here already. 
There it is, 18675. Okay, very good. So let me go in here and click that little blue dot. Select folder. Report. 18675. Go down here to 18675 right here. There's the PDF. Yeah. Very good. Okay. View inspection. That we're going to send a report. We're going to click the client. We're going to click the buyer's agent, and then we're we're just going to check to see um, if the invoice is in there. Yes, so we can unclick this. We don't want we don't want that checked anymore. So we're just going to go over here to send a report. Very good. So it's sent out now. Uh, since it's paid, we can go ahead and upload it to Home Gauge. That's Home Gauge here. And upload. Sweet. Okay. And then once we get it there, hit yes. Since it's been paid for, we can go ahead and send it out. Click here, here, click, there, click, everywhere, click, click. All right. All right, we're all good to go. Thanks, man.